I expected it to derail my career, and it did. <laughs> uh, I, I have never been like a tenured faculty member anywhere. I've, I've been a professor, now I'm a visiting scientist, and I love it, but uh, it, it, because it, when I first started working on it, it was so controversial that nobody wanted to touch it. Uh, I, couldn't even get, I couldn't even get an article published on it except in this little magazine associated with the, the Bakken Library and Museum of Electricity in Life, which is out in Minneapolis. Uh, and even they later began to think better of it, but it was too late by then, of course. Once you've published, you've published. Uh, but then after working on the, on the thing for like, well, I guess it was more than 20 years, um, it came out in 1999, which turned out to be the perfect year for it, although, I mean, I didn't know that. I couldn't have. Uh, but, I, you know, that's when I finished it, and it came, it, it came out, and people just went bonkers over it. it was, they even did a, um, a Law and Order Special Victims uh, Unit thing with, with a little vignette of, from my book, and I was like, it's not what an historian expects. But it, it's, been a, it's been quite a trip, and now there's been a movie and a, um, a play, uh, which is uh, running right, right now at the Lyceum. Uh, and I'm told, Scouts Honor, a puppet musical. Uh, you're going to laugh at me, uh, because what I thought was going to happen was that my colleagues would talk about it a lot, and uh, that it would be reviewed in the scholarly journals. Um, and that, that's all I expected. I thought maybe a few people might use it as a textbook. But actually, it's used as a textbook in about 150 colleges and universities around the world. It's been translated now. I think it's now in three languages. Uh, and people just loved my hypothesis. And that's all it is, really, is an hypothesis that, that women were treated with massage for this disease, hysteria, which has supposedly existed since the time of Hippocrates, 450 BC, and that the vibrator was invented to treat this disease. Well, people just thought this was such a cool idea that people believe it, that it's like a fact. And I'm like, it's a hypothesis, it's a hypothesis. But it doesn't matter. You know, if people like it so much, they don't want to hear any doubts about it. Eventually, somebody will sit down and say, now, maybe there's another way to interpret these data. But in the meantime, I'm really kind of enjoying all the attention that my book gets, <laughs> as you can imagine.